Hola, hello. So I just wanted to do a quick video. Because this is uh, my first hike since I got back to Utah. And I'm really proud of myself because um, this isn't new for me. In the last few years I've been doing this, but that is a three and a half year old on my back. And I just went up super steep terrain. We didn't do a super long hike, but my guess it would be about 6,000 steps. And I am not dying of pain. <laughs> uh, let me guess. Five, six, let's say between six and eight years, six and nine years plus um, ago. I was in so much pain with my back and fatigue um, that I couldn't even carry in this same baby carrier my newborn baby. And that was absolutely heartbreaking for me. I would like to cry because I'd see all these really healthy mommies, baby wearing their babies day and night, and I'm just like, I can't even go like 30 minutes. I'm dying. And, um, other things were failing, like breastfeeding as well. Those were all very important things for me to be able to do for my babies because that's what's healthiest for them, according to actually healthy people on earth. And it was really heartbreaking for me to not be able to give my babies that. And when I realized the reasons why I was deteriorating so terribly at such a young age, I was really infuriated and angry. Um, it was plants and so when I people when I hear people talking about this BS about plants being healthy I get like super angry and defensive and that's why I hurt myself and I hurt my babies believing that same BS and it's really upsetting when hello oh. when I see people that are actually deteriorating by following that crappy advice but continuing to stubbornly stick to something that is clearly not giving results. It's heartbreaking when I see what y'all do to yourself because you're programmed and brainwashed into believing in this stupid bullshit and this uh, only what's called talking point of science and facts. Why don't we talk about actual results, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like makes me so upset because people are being conned and tricked into actually deteriorating and hurting themselves including obviously myself in the past by by going completely against what these people claim as science and facts I completely healed my body 100% I am a old lady now as you can tell by my wrinkles and I am able to do this with a three and a half year old baby on my back that I made myself doing the opposite of what they suggest. A baby that I had the entire pregnancy with no interference whatsoever by these claimed experts. I did not go to a midwife, a doctor, or nothing. I had a very healthy 11 pound baby that I birthed myself with a total labor time of two hours and 22 minutes I believe was the exact time is that right I gotta look that up that's just so funny because that number keeps coming up for me um I birthed him by myself in my bathroom in my bathtub unintentionally in my bathtub but I ended up there um intentionally giving birth to him by myself healthy beautiful baby boy at 42 42 years old after I was told by the medical drug dealing system that at 35 years old, I was too old and high risk after having only five babies. So at that point, it had two unassisted births and two unassisted pregnancies, what we call it. And that was my third one. This baby on my back was my third one after I was supposed to like you know supposedly die and bad bad stuff and death you know like terrible and uh, I would even be called a child abuser and a mentally ill person for going against their BS advice 
and I had the best outcome of all the outcomes. So, you know, when I get upset, it's for legitimate good reasons because I actually proved their BS wrong by my living example of not listening to them and doing the opposite of what they say. And I watch my beautiful fellow man and woman suffering, believing their garbage. It hurts me deeply and I am not going to stop speaking out, period. Um, when people are making money off of you being sick, do you really think they're gonna give you health advice? That's not even logical thinking. And I know that the majority of humans are smart enough to have that much reasoning and common sense. So let's start realizing Oh, wait a minute. They don't make money off us being healthy. Why in the world would they give us advice on how to put their self out of business? They are worried about paying their bills. And of course, the people that are doling out this garbage don't even realize it's garbage. They themselves are following it and deteriorating. So I'm not blaming the workers, the people that paid a lot of money to be taught bullshit. I'm blaming whoever the hell's behind all this crap because I've pr proved with my actual life and everything that I do that everything they're saying is actual and complete and total lies. And they're claiming it's science and fact. So where does money go to do scientific and factual studies? These supposed, right? They, they're gonna come from and go to things that are gonna make people money. They are not, there's no money for studies in health and true health and healing period oh yeah let me fork out 12 million dollars to do a study on how you don't need jack shit from me <laughs> no it's not gonna ever fucking happen there's no money for a study there's nobody that's good enough of heart to give money away like that because you're not gonna make your money back period there is zero studies to prove anything I'm saying because there is zero money to be made. So if you need science to prove to you something before you go ahead and do it, then have fun deteriorating, have fun ending up in diapers, dying of dementia, drug addicted in an old folks home, shitting yourself and pissing yourself, like yelling at everybody and being mean to everybody or just like literally being in a coma because that's the result these motherfuckers with the science have. Period, 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 period. I'm sorry that a lot of you invested a ton of money to be taught bull crap. It's not your fucking fault. I'm sorry that it's wrong. I'm sorry that you fight for it. You fight for deteriorating advice that's hurting you and your babies. You abuse your fellow man that's trying to tell you the truth like people like me. You abuse us because we're trying to tell you the truth. Because you're buying into a lie. Because you're programmed to buy into it. Because of these bullshit talking points. The only fact of reality is there's no science and there's no studies to prove what I'm saying. Because there's no money in you being healthy. Period. There's proof right there. That they are lying and they're wrong. Even when they don't know they're wrong. Even when they don't know they're lying. So, use your own brains, think for yourself, try stuff out. If advice that you're given by a quote-unquote expert isn't working, do the exact opposite of what they're saying and watch like freaking miracles unfold. They're not going to make money off you being healthy, period, end of story. So, use your brains, be true free-thinking human beings, and death for yourself from bullshit. And finally thrive. And have you actually happy because you're not in pain and suffering and deteriorating. Please and thank you. Have a great day. So I'm going to kind of whisper because I don't want to be mean. But it's so funny because people, <laughs> they go on these hikes with this backpack full of, I don't know what the fuck they got in there. Snacks and water and shit, I guess. Poles so they, what, can balance with that shit? But when you're healthy, you don't need poles to balance. You have an excellent balance. You know, when you didn't follow bullshit advice. Jaku, say hi. Hi. <laughs>
<laughs> I just ran down like these steps. It was great. With the baby on my back. Four and a half year old at 44 years old. After I'm supposed to be dead right now. Of course, I haven't taken any medical system bullshit into my body either. Not their crappy vaccines or their drugs of any kind. Not any of their pills, vitamins, none of that shit. Anyways. You don't need snacks, you don't need drinks, you don't need pulls, you don't need jack shit. I, I didn't go all the way up on that hike, but I've gone substantially farther with this baby on my back many, many times. Never once did I need a drink of water. Never once did I need a snack. Like, are you going to die if you're not constantly drinking or eating? No dipshit, you're killing yourself with all the eating and drinking. Like, just calm the fuck down. Your body is not meant to be constantly putting, having crap in its pie hole, actually. And um, the only reason that you need that is because of the crappy diet that you're eating of plants. All these sugars, sodium chloride, not real salt. That's a chemical, really toxic thing to put in your body. Real salt hydrates you actually. Um, and it's not toxic and it's a very high important nutrients, important nutrients. Um, what else? food. Wow, you can't go a few hours on a hike without having a fucking snack, dipshit. Sit down, take a rest, calm down. Why do you put putting crap in your pile all the time? It wears out your digestive system bad. People are on dialysis because they're always drinking, drink, drink, drinking. Like, you're wearing out your kidneys. You're wearing out your colon with all this eating, eating, eating. You never let the poor thing have a rest from digesting shit. So my old as fuck ass can do that. With a three and a half year old on my back, no poles, no snacks, no liquids. If I can do it, so can you. So I want to make fun of some shit some more. <laughs> I might have already made fun of this. I don't remember. But one thing that cracks me up so much. Oh, hold on. There's some interference coming from this thing. Is people that are like, I did my research. What the fuck does that even mean? What, you read a bunch of crap that other people wrote down and then you're like, I did my research. You're just taking someone else's word for it, dipshit. <laughs> That's not doing your research. Like the research is that you got the dropper, you put the liquid in with the other liquid and then you saw the actual reaction physically yourself with your own motherfucking eyeballs. Reading someone else's chart or someone else's bullshit is not my fucking research. It's just your dipshit ass reading crap. It may or may not even be true. You know they can make up stuff, right? They just make up charts and make that shit look all legit. Oh, it's peer reviewed. Oh, so one dipshit drug dealing motherfucker trained into bullshit approved of the other dipshit. Like, do you understand how ridiculous you sound when you say that shit to me? Like, to me. When you say some other dipshit, they probably be like, oh, I did my research too. Watching a documentary is not doing your research. You can put a bunch of BS in a documentary and be like, facts and science. And then taking someone's word for it is not research. It doesn't matter if they have some fancy ass title or they went to some bullshit crap that the government approved of, period. Just a minute. Of course you do. Oh, you want to do it yourself. Okay, fantastic. Oh, good. Do it yourself. That's totally an option. Oh, okay. Up and down. Nice. Like, people tell me, give me the science. Well, give me a million dollars and I will. You want it up? Why don't you put it up? I thought you were the controller of these things. Apparently not. <laughs> I guess he doesn't know how to do the up thing. Alright, it's valid. You're only three and a half. What further can I add to that? I mean, that just says everything right there. Reading a chart isn't proof. It isn't doing your research. Watching a documentary isn't proof. It isn't about... It's just that you believed some dipshit that wrote down crap and made the effort to do shit. And they're probably selling something. No, there's no probably. They're selling something. Do you think that they're going to come up with proof science facts and charts that disprove the crap they're trying to sell? Like, what are they, dipshits? Oh, look, I invented this great thing that sucks. Buy it. <laughs>
love you guys, but you're trained to be dipshits. You're programmed to be a dipshit. So it's like literally not your fault and I'm not mad at you or I don't really think you're an actual dipshit. It's just that you have to realize that you're programmed to be ignorant and manipulatable. And then simultaneously while believing you're intelligent because you read someone else's chart and took someone else's word for it, which you've been doing your entire life. Like you go to school and they're like, read this crap, it's true. And so you've been inundated. Like, I mean, they're just pouring buckets of this BS over you telling you that because I said so and because of blah, 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 bullshit that's coming out of my face, it's true. Just believe it. And so you think reading stuff, watching stuff, charts, and this and that, uh, some dumbass that memorized and regurgitated bullshit themselves is an expert of no results, motherfuckers. You're all dying, deteriorated dipshits. Like, embar- like we should be ashamed of ourselves, of, of, of how our elderly end up, how easily and quickly we're deteriorating. We have children with decaying teeth, eyeballs that don't even function properly women that can't even carry pregnancies and we're supposed to be so superior we're dipshits we are dipshits is what we are <laughs> like fucking morons wild people over there shitting under a bush don't even have any of that crap happen to them they don't have mentally ill people going around doing fucked up things to each other they're not their teeth ain't deteriorating they die with full set and they're like 200 nobody even knows what age they are because they don't keep track of that shit they see perfectly fine they don't got their eyeballs all bulging and fucked up when they're like 70 50 like i seen 40 year olds that look 30 year olds that look all little tiny kids that look all fucked up in this motherfucker and we think we're superior. That shit's so funny. Yeah, you walk into, driving around your BMW, but you look like shit. Like your body's all fucked up. You cannot make enough money to buy back beauty and health, dumbass. So fuck research, fuck uh, like charts, and uh, like bullshit that just makes you look like a dumbass to actual truly intelligent people. I don't mean to be mean, but I gotta be mean because y'all just screwing your own selves over. It's like, hey, why don't you fuck yourself, your actual self? I'll just tell you a bunch of bull crap and then I'll convince you that you're doing the best thing for you. And even though you're watching yourself deteriorate, you're gonna continue to do the bull- bullshit because we programmed you that it's like the right thing and the best thing. Like, you're letting your own intelligence fuck your own self in your own asses. Sorry, I have to be harsh and cruel, but it's true. So that's all I have to say about that for now. There is no research to back true health. They can't make money off that. Sorry.